How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and do the upgrade of 6.5 to 6.7 in the same manner we did 6.0 to 6.5. So we're gonna go ahead and get that party started. I'm gonna go ahead and right click in here, go to settings, and I'm going to adjust the CD drive to go and boot from 6.7. So in here, we're gonna click in, hit the drop down, and then we're going to choose 6.7 right there, update one, click OK. And we're going to, now this uh, ESXi host does have a host running on it, or I'm sorry, a VM, excuse me. So we're gonna come over here to this one right here. We're gonna go look at 6.65-1, log in, and I need to actually go in and power this VM off. So, there is a way to forcefully shut down a VM on a host if it if you need to power it down, but we don't want to do that if we don't have to. So I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to go to console and then launch remote console. Right here. And I'm going to power down the VM. So we'll take care of that real quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and send control, to, uh, send control delete. I'm going to go ahead and there we go. So that's, that's got the right password now. So I'm going to go ahead and go start menu, power, and shutdown because you definitely want to do a graceful shutdown whenever possible. I mean, obviously you could hard right, you do a right click and just power off and not care about it, but. Uh, so that VM now should be showing is turned off here momentarily and there it's powered off it's not showing it's on anymore and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back over here to 651 we're going to right click and say power and power off yes we want to power it off and remember just like with the 6. Dot O to 6.2 or 6.5 upgrade when you power the virtual machine on you need to be like Johnny on the spot with trying to click in so now we're here and so I'm going to start pressing F2 immediately and there we go now there um, if you get into a situation one moment if you get into a situation where you do see the pop-up for F2 and I think it's F8 and then escape then that's a point where you want to start pressing it, but I don't even wait for that, I start pressing it right away. So I'm gonna come in here and arrow down to the CD drive, hit the enter key, and then it's going to load the ESXi installer. I'm going to pause while that loads up, and then we'll go through the 6.7 upgrade process. So we know we're on the right path when you get the 6.7 installer to pop up and go from there. So we'll wait for the loader to finish doing its job and then we'll go through the step-by-step the -step upgrade. So the installer pop-up comes in, we're gonna click in and type, hit the enter key and then we're gonna accept the EULA and then we're going to scan for the hard drive. So it's gonna find the 100 gig hard drive that we want to install the, or do the upgrade on, I should say, not the install. We're gonna hit the enter key and then it's going to go make sure that everything that it needs to be in play is there. We already know that thing, everything's good. And so again, just like before with 6.0 to 6.5, 6.5 to 6.7 is the exact same process. So we're gonna hit the enter key to do the upgrade and then I'm going to pause while the upgrade happens and I'll bring you guys, well, actually F11. The upgrade is gonna happen now. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'll pause and bring you guys back in soon. Well, that upgrade went a lot quicker. I think it has a lot to do, honestly, with the fact that we're going from a, uh, it's not such a large gap. We're trying to bridge between 6.0 and 6.5 versus 6.5 and 6.7. There's only so many more things that are gonna be added to the capabilities list that aren't already there. So that's basically why this upgrade went pretty much lickety split. So we're in a good shape there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the enter key to do the reboot, and then we'll be in good shape from there, and then I'll bring you guys back in once we are suited and booted. Alrighty, our upgrade is complete, so I'm gonna go jump to Windows 10, and then pull up Google Chrome, and then I'm going to come in here and type in HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash, 
and then ESXi 65-1 and hit the enter key. And we're gonna go ahead and advanced and then pull this guy up. And we should be able to log in and then we should be able to go root and then the password. And then we're gonna go and validate that the install has now gone from 6.5 to 6.7 and that that is all operational. And momentarily we'll have our results, uh, whether our upgrade was successful or not. We are not going to join the customer improvement program and we are on 6.7. 6.7 update one, which is what we want to be on. So um, that's basically where we are at. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there we go, wrong button. Um, we are up, we are completely updated with, with, with what I wanted to do the demonstrations of and what I'm going to do uh, offline without you guys on the video. I'm gonna go and upgrade 6.0 and 6.1 and I'll upgrade all the other hosts to 6.7 because that's going to be my primary focus. So I'm going to be spending a significant amount of time on 6.7 and then we're going to convert over to vCenter. I'll get vCenter deployed. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm not going to do those updates because I want to use vSphere Update Manager to do those updates. And I'll demo, I'll demo a couple of different ways of doing that. And uh, I might have to actually, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. But um, I'll go through the that process and then I will record some content around that. So until next time guys, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and we'll catch you guys in the next video.